What's up, Gemini gang? What's happening, you guys? This will be for the Gemini singles for all Gemini placements. Take what resonates, leave the rest. Take it how it resonates with you and your situation, okay? Personal readings are in the description box, you guys, on the website. Hit those likes, hit those likes, hit those likes, Geminis. Hit that subscribe. You are greatly appreciated. So, we have the Wheel of Fortune comes out first. The Four of Cups. Now, this came out in the last read, literally. The Moon and the King of Cups. Interesting. With the Five of Swords. So, Geminis, I see, number one, something's turning around for you. Yeah. I'm also seeing, this is a heavily emotional spread, Geminis. Like, what is going on? Like, you, are you in your feelings about something or someone? Or this King of Cups is in their feelings, uh, Geminis. But I feel like someone really loves you a lot, uh, even though they may not show it. Um, yeah, Geminis. Someone feels like you changed their life. I'm seeing the devil on the bottom. Why do we keep seeing that now? <laughs> Child. Wow. The four of wands. The king of cups. I gotta look at them before I show you guys. The king of pentacles. The empress. Gemini, what you got going on here? Is this you having all these options? I feel like you have options. You have the King of Cups here twice. The strength card on the bottom. Mm -hmm. Leo energy as well. Holy shit, Geminis. Let me say this. Um, if this is new or old, regardless, past or present, past or future, doesn't matter. Whoever this is loves you to life, Geminis. This person has no limit on how much they love you. This person loves you unconditionally. Um, Geminis. Yeah. I feel like someone wants to nurture you. Um, someone wants to take care of you. I love the Wheel of Fortune with the Four of Wands because, like I said, I feel like something is turning around for you, uh, Geminis. Now, I feel like the Four of Cups has a different root meaning in this spread than the last reading. In this, in this spread, I'm getting like, um, especially with the King of Cups, I'm getting like emotional stability. Because you know, the Cups are about emotions and Fours are about stability. This can usually be about, um, it doesn't necessarily have to be about boredom or um, discontentment or anything like that. Sometimes this is simply somebody that is emotional, emotionally stable. That's why some decks you'll see the Four of Cups as someone meditating. Or something along the lines of that. So I feel like Gemini's, especially with the King of Cups, because the King of Cups balances his logic and his emotions. This is like the epitome of emotionally stable, emotionally mature Gemini's. So I feel like someone is very, very, or, or getting to a space, and it could be you, of being very, very stable in your emotions, like content with your emotions, content with your feelings. But I'm also seeing someone here loves you a lot, Geminis. I also feel like this, though. You bring out somebody's insecurities, uh, Geminis. Mm-hmm. Some of you have red hair or blonde hair. Yeah. You bring out somebody's insecurities, especially like in the financial sector. Uh, Gemini's like somebody this is kind of the same as the last read like someone is um, they want to be able to provide for you and do for you but I feel like there there's like an insecurity there could be a Taurus for some of you like this person's not totally confident in their uh, in their stability um, Gemini's but I do feel like they are getting emotionally um, stability us uh, to really stable but I do feel like there's some insecurity though around their um their material world Gemini take that how it resonates this person whoever this is put you on a pedestal what's interesting is, is both of these kings is facing this empress here some of you may have options 
Some of you may have options, Gemini's. I feel like if your love life hasn't really been moving, I feel like it's it's about to take a major turn, a huge turn. Um, it could be more than one person. Take it how it resonates. For some of you, it's just one person, okay? It could just be them um, coming out as these different energies. But I do feel like um, someone feels like they can't step up for you um, financially. Or they, you know, like I said, they have like some type of some type of lack mindset that they need to work on, uh, Gemini's. Somebody feels like you two are like destiny too. The moon on the bottom again. Yeah, but you see in this moon card, she looks like she's drowning. So I feel like, Gemini's, someone's feelings for you are so strong that they, cons they are consumed by them. And sometimes they do things that... Um, especially with the five of swords here. Sometimes they do things because of how strongly they feel for you. So like they'll say stuff they don't mean or they'll do things that they don't mean. Um, Gemini's. Now, if this is a new person, just be mindful of looking at these signs. Because again, for some of you, this could be somebody you just met or this could be someone that you will be meeting pretty soon. Okay. Yeah, some of you, you have another person. Gemini's the nine of cups you're gonna get exactly what you want though the three of cups the king of wands on the bottom some of you have options now I'm not even gonna lie to you <laughs> some of you have options uh, Gemini's could be between a Scorpio and a Taurus uh, a Libra a Sag Pisces yeah Leo mm-hmm also, if you're not talking to someone or if you're ignoring someone, Gemini's, I feel like they want to talk to you. Ace of Pentacles on the bottom. Or if you, uh, this could also be for some of you, someone that you may have turned down before. Like you, they actually want to date and you turn them down. For some of you, you turn this person down because you were in another relationship. So I feel like you're going to be able to like get another chance with someone. Um, someone new that may have like asked you out before and you couldn't for whatever reason uh gemini's so i don't feel like it's someone that you don't yeah the eight of swords this is insecurity here yeah gemini's you mm, somebody's very very insecure very insecure gemini's the star here on the bottom yeah about their their material world for some of you this person may feel like the only thing that they can give you right now is love which is probably all you want anyway, Gemini's. But yeah, this person is very, very insecure about their, and it probably triggers them too. Like if you bring up their financial situation or whatever, like this is mean, but I know how Gemini's do. That's Gemini's. We can be a little ruthless with our tongues, okay? Um, I feel like, so say for instance, you, y'all get into a fight or whatever. And this person is saying stuff they know is going to trigger you, right? I feel like you may talk about this person's financial. Like, you broke. You don't have no money. Because you know that that triggers this person, Gemini's. I feel like this person is really triggered by money or anything regarding that. They're very, very insecure about their financial state right now, Gemini's. Whoever this is. Like I said, I feel like for some of you, this is a, some type of past person. Ah, mm, oh, wow. <laughs> the queen of pentacles. Yeah, I love it. You're dealing with a divine counterpart, Gemini's. The stars on the bottom. Yep. Because the queen of pentacles is here and the king of pentacles is here, Gemini's. However, I do feel like for some of you, it's not going to resonate with all of you, but I feel like some of you have other options or you have another person that you're kind of talking to um, or kind of chit-chatting with. Or some of you just flat out dating this person, uh, Gemini's. And if this isn't going on yet, I'm, I'm seeing it happening for you because like I said, the wheel has started turning with this wheel of fortune here. I love the wheel of fortune here with the four of wands. And then to top it off, the nine of cups. So there's going to be something here that you get that you have wanted Gemini's for a long time. 
I do feel like seeing this King of Cups here twice. Despite this person's insecurities, this person loves you unconditionally, Gemini's. Through your bullshit, through your, uh, you talking crazy to them, um, you know, through your in and out and your off and on, this person sees you still in a positive light. Even though they may not show it, even though they do stupid things, even though they may say stupid things, but a lot of things they do are out of insecurity, Gemini's. Whether it be like trying to make you jealous or whatever the case may be, this person is just so insecure. And I feel like a lot of what they, a lot of the stupid stuff that they've done was out of fear, number one, and out of insecurity. And this person feels like they fear that, that they won't be enough for you. Um, you know, they fear that they won't be able to provide for you. They fear that you're going to leave them for someone else. It's just this person has a lot going on in their mind, uh, Gemini's. Now, they could easily free themselves from it, but, you know, it's like... They need work, Gemini. They, they need to work on this. And it could be something that they have always had. This could be something that they have uh, grown up with, like I talked about in the other reading, Gemini's. Um, this person's lack mindset. I feel like this person needs to learn that their mindset um, has a lot to do with why they're in the position that they're in, uh, Gemini's. For others of you, this person needs to make better decisions, uh, especially financially for a lot of you. But they, but they think so highly of you, Gemini's. It's just, it's insane. Um, no matter how they act or whatever the case may be, Gemini's, no matter how they portray, so they may act like they don't care or they may act nonchalant or whatever the case may be, but I do feel like... Um, let me get one more. I do feel like they they're so attracted to you. They say they they feel like you're why do I say they say? Because I'm hearing you're beautiful. So this person calls you beautiful a lot. And if they don't do it to your face, they do it in their head. <laughs> they're super attracted to you. They may even think that your your looks are um you may be too attractive for them too gemini's i'm just getting someone that's just really insecure and i feel like it has to do with like the physical aspect money uh looks and things like that but i do feel like though this person does love you unconditionally now that's for certain that's one thing they're certain of uh gemini's they may not be certain of their financial state the next day or the next week or whatever but one thing they're certain of is they do love you unconditionally no matter what you do gemini's Okay, so let's see what's going on. So we have Person of Earth here on the bottom, which could be a Capricorn, Virgo, or Taurus, which I see heavy Taurus in the spread. Did I get too many of these? I didn't want to get too many. Okay, so I'll just breeze through these. So this one we have within a few weeks. So whatever that means for you, Gemini, I don't know. I don't really like those. <laughs> so this is the first one out, which is Curtain Call, which is Leo. We do see Leo here. And it says acclaim, fame, recognition, parade, celebrity, admiration, applause, show appreciation, spotlight, focused attention, theater, act, performance. You are watching a movie. So this kind of gives me a vibe of you're about to have somebody's full attention, Gemini's. But I also feel like for others of you, it's, it's more than one person. You have their full attention. This one is Gemini. And this is hammock, rest, relax, time off. Pause, suspend, sleep. That's kind of the energy I get with the Four of Cups. Um, meditate. See, I mentioned meditate earlier with this Four of Cups card. Inactive, recovery, find relief, vacation, waiting, suspended between two things in limbo and self-actualization. So I talked about self-actualization in the last reading. And Gemini, this could kind of be you too. Then we have Olive Branch, which is Scorpio. Heavy Scorpio in the spread as well. And it says truce, surrender, giving in, come to terms, suspend, lull, de-escalate, make amends, peace offering, winding down, halt, 
reprieve, ceasefire, treaty, agree to disagree. So yeah, I definitely see a vibe of like a truce here. Someone wanting to be on, on good terms with you, whether y'all argued or whatever the case may be. Um, Gemini's because they think so highly of you. Um, Gemini's and like I said, they may even feel like you're out of their league. Then we have Scorpio again, which is thunderstorm, power, destructive, trouble, electric display, a warning, out of control, energy shift, conflict, triumph over evil, fierce, booming, conflict, opportunity to overcome. So this makes sense again, like I said earlier, some of you may have fought with this person or y'all have some type of disagreement or whatever the case may be. Some of you are not talking to this person, you're ignoring this person. Um, but like I said, I feel like they want to correct it, fix it. Then we have chocolate, which is Libra. We see Libra here in the spread as well. Satisfaction, perfection, love, romance. Treating yourself sweet, rich, smooth, splurge, aphrodisiac, the good stuff, fine dining, do things right, celebration, and elevated mood. I love this. All right, Gemini's, hit that like, hit that subscribe, y'all. Thank you for watching. Peace out.